Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now Act 4, Chapter 4 details are here and that is obviously the conclusion of all of the Act 8. I know a lot of you are very impatient, therefore for you guys I'm just gonna really re reveal this that I'm gonna cover at the end of the video. But these effectively are the rewards that I have personally you know, separated and grouped them in between 7 star materials, 6 uh, star materials, miscellaneous stuff, raw catalysts, and the relic stuff. So these are the rewards. I'm going to be discussing them later in the video, but if you wish to take a screenshot, you are more than welcome to do so, uh, as they are kind of easier to grasp and gather than from the post itself. Right. So welcome to the final and fourth chapter of uh, Malcolm's of Champions. The fourth and final chapter of Malcolm's of Champions, Act 8 specifically. The chapter is intended to be exciting conclusion of the adventures of Karina and her battle against the insidious organization. I'm not gonna break it all down. Realistically, if you like the story, you probably know what it's about. If you don't, you don't care about it. Point is that uh, one act composed of four chapters. Each chapter consists of six quests. Chapter four quests are composed of three paths with six encounters per path. Three final bosses, not path dependent. One to three choice nodes found just before fighting the final boss. Okay, three choice notes, one to three choice notes. Okay, fair enough. Final boss says. Uh, so there you go. Uh, we're gonna have the choice notes. Choice notes located just before the final boss give players chance to swap out a non KO'd five or six star champions for five or six star champions for another in the roster. They don't work on seven stars? Huh? That's weird. Huh? Freshly certain champion will under the quest at full health, ready to rumble. We do know that energy costs each. Quest will consist of three parts with an average of 23 nodes per path, each path containing six fights plus the final boss. Uh, total cost is uh, 1200 energy, 1242, so 400 energy per uh, completion. For completion, uh, that is how many? 70, 20 refills? That's fairly short, it's not too much. Global domination. Uh, before we start talking about the new nodes in Act 8, it's important to mention the global nodes in every quest intended to empower your champions and strikers. While these may seem like a lot of effects to consider, may these occur in the background and shouldn't cause concern. It's basically what we had before here, aside from the fact that the, the attacker's spirit gain rate is going to be increased by 200%. Then we're going to get extra attack based on the star level and the block proficiency in attack. As always, going berserk. Weapon nodes have been an important mechanic throughout Act 8, with players using their wits, their roster, to disarm the opponents and punish them with improved unarmed damage or by capturing the weapon node for themselves. Chapter 4 will see these uh, desperate opponents finally fight back with the introduction of Berserk nodes, whereas unarmed and captured nodes allow players to turn the powers of the quest nodes against their opponents, Berserk nodes unlock dangerous new ability to the defender while their weapon node is disarmed or captured. Players will need to respect these new threats while they strategize on how best to capitalize on the defender's lost weapon. Will you forego the advantage of the weapon for the safer unarmed option? Uh, fair enough. I just, I'm afraid it's going to be so, so much reading. <laughs> and make me one with everything. For this final chapter of Act 8, we wanted to diversify the challenges presented in order to really test the limits of the summoner skills and roster. With that intent, we have loaded Act 8 with a wide variety of new effects and nodes focusing on broader RPG demands and mechanics. So it means it's going to be extremely roster specific. Rather than con constraining ourselves to specific classes, we have set up a series of nodes looking for niche mechanics to counter daunting defender threats. But don't worry if you don't have the perfect counter. We opened up the design of the nodes to allow alternative mechanics to help the bridge the gap. You know, relics and strikers are a hot topic for many, but thanks to the extensive feedback of Act 8.3 8 beta earlier this year, we have a much better idea as to what players are looking for from striker-centric gameplay. Well, there aren't nearly as many new striker nodes in Act 8.4 as there were in 8.3. We felt compelled to continue to explore the design space they provide us, so there's going to be more striker stuff. Eh. Lastly, of course, there's a parade of other new nodes, fair enough. Against Dying Light. Uh, stunning conclusion to Karina's war again, and just the rewards. <laughs> so here we go. The rewards here obviously differ. We have comp act 
Chapter 4, Completion and Exploration Rewards. Then we have each individual quest rewards, the chest rewards, and the Act 8 Completion Rewards and Act 8 Exploration Rewards that I'm going to break down in just a moment. For final words, we'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who came out for our Act 8 Chapter 4 beta. Community feedback and support helps us stay the course and keeping story quests exciting, engaging, and exemplary experience for all our players. So always thank you for all your patience, passion, and participation. There we go. So, the rewards are as follows. For 7 stars, we get one 7 star rank 2 to 3 crystal. So, a random class, 7 star goes from 2 to 3, just like Necropolis completion. Then we get two 7-star rank up gems from 1 to 2. We get seven, two 7-star seven hero crystals, one 7-star class hero crystal, one 7-star nexus hero crystal, and 10,000 7-star hero crystal shards, along with one titan crystal. So in total, that effectively is two, three, four, five, nearly six, but you know, five and some 7-star crystals for all of Act 8 and 8.4 exploration. Then there's a whole bunch of six star stuff, which I was honestly kind of surprised. I didn't expect to see them here, but uh, we have two six stars, three to four gems, three six star, four to five gems, one six star awakening gem, <laughs> 60 six star stones, uh, two nexus hero crystals, and 60,000 six star hero shards. Fair enough, fine, whatever. Uh, then in raw catalyst, uh, we get effectively four tier six class catalysts. So we have 10, 25% tier 6 class catalysts and 35% ones. So that totals up to four full tier 6 class catalyst stuff, seven tier 3 alphas, seven tier 6 basics, and one full tier 4 alpha catalyst on top of it as well. So that definitely will be quite useful working towards uh, the next rank up as well. Quite happy to see that it's not just the rank up gem, that it's a little bit extra, because we knew it's going to be one rank 3, no more, no less, but... We do get a little bit more. Then there are some relic stuff. There is some interesting relic stuff because there is a six star relic rank up gem, two to three. I don't think I have a rank three relic. So that's kind of neat for the prestige players. For most players, you know, they're not particularly into the whole relic stuff, but we're going to have five star relic nexus crystal, uh, two relic rank one to two gems, one rank two to three gem, two six star relic crystals, and effectively three five-star relic crystals. And as some miscellaneous stuff, so it's going to be approximately 10 million gold, 540 units, and two ascensions as well. I would have liked to see a few more ascensions, to be honest, because they give us even more rank-up gems than they let us ascend. We, we get three, four to five gems and two ascensions, but that's fine. Whatever. Two ascensions are two ascensions. I'll gladly take them. Uh, happy to see that they are in the rewards as well here. So what do I think of the rewards overall? I, th I think they're fine. Like, uh, I'm not blown away by them. Obviously, uh, 7 star rank 2 to 3 gem being class, RNG based, is not going to appeal to everybody. But uh, overall, so we get basically two new rank 2s from this, a rank 3. Five to six 7 stars in between the class and the nexus and the titan crystals. Get 27 star signature stones, no seven star awakening gem, which was kind of a 50 50 shot. I thought it could appear here. Uh, if it hasn't yet, I am thinking we're probably gonna see one in spring cleaning, if not, then late this July 4th, probably. Um, apart, as far as it goes for the catalyst themselves, definitely kind of expected to see more tier six basics, tier three alphas, but those are relatively easy to acquire. Uh, absolutely not fast about relic stuff. Really, I'm not. I always feel like they're just taking up the design space. It's not something that I'm chasing. It's not something that I want to spend resources or units on. And it's not something that, you know, gets me excited. I'm going to open a six star relic. Woohoo. You know, it's, it's just one of those things for me personally. Maybe you love relics. Who knows? Um, again, a bunch of six star stuff kind of seems wrong, <laughs> to be honest. Especially like three to four gems. Like them sprinkling in some four to five gems, fair enough. Six star awakening gem is like absolutely unnecessary. Uh, three to four, I don't know. Okay, fine, I guess. But anyways, those are the words. I'm not blown away. I'm not completely critical. I think they're 
fine, effectively. My big worry is that these rewards will probably pale in comparison to spring cleaning. Because this, yeah, that, that's what I genuinely think is going to happen. I think these rewards will pale in comparison to spring cleaning, uh, which is going to, you know, be at end of the month. So enjoy these rewards for as long as they look juicy to you. Uh, on a side note, one Titan Crystal in total seems kind of low. But whatever. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let me know what you guys think about Act 8.4. Are you excited? Are you hyped? Obviously, I will be streaming as soon as it goes live, and I'll plan on exploring it as well. All right, see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all